Now, what are the disadvantages? First of all, it's uncertain longevity. The longevity of the prosthesis is less than the conventional type. Retention أقل. رقم اثنين. Irreversible. Number three. No space correction. رح نشوف if the edential space is wider than the mesial distal width of the tooth that would normally occupy the space. هنا جدا من الممكن انه يبين عندي الدنشر اذا كان space for the uh, tooth, the lost tooth is more than usual or more than it need. وجود ال wings راح يبين عندي اولا ما راح ما من الممكن انه اخلي سن اكبر من السن اللي بصفه اذا مثلا عندي two centrals one of them are missing and the space for the missed tooth is larger than than I need, I can do a larger other central because the aesthetic will, will be compromised. In the, in the other side, I can't do it the same as the size of the adjacent tooth, the other incisor, and let the wing shone from the spaces that will be left. Another disadvantage, no alignment correction. Good alignment of the abutment teeth is required because the prosthesis path of insertion is limited by enamel thickness. And finally, it is difficult for temporization. Now, what are the indications? What are the indications that I can do resin bonded in the case of mandibular incisor replacement? أكثر مكان ممكن نسوي من يكون عندي one or two missing mandibular incisors والأبتمنت are undamaged موجودين كاملين ما ما بيها أي مشكلة إذا ممكن نسويها باللور incisor teeth second maxillary incisor replacement number three periodontal splint the supplanting of the periodontally involved tooth was the first use for resin bonded fixed partial denture. And then, our استخدام كان عندي resin bonded fixed partial denture هو بال periodontal splinting. And finally, we can use it as a single posterior tooth replacement. Now, is there any contraindications for its use? Yes, in case of extensive caries. بما أنه أني عندي extensive caries uh, على الأبطمن teeth and I use already أني أستخدم الإنامل for bonding or for adhesion إذن جزء كبير من الإنامل lost so I can't use it in these cases or in case of we have deep vertical overbite so much enamel must be removed from the lingual surface of the maxillary incisors in this occlusal relationship then in the deep vertical overbite. So the retention would be drastically reduced. Rahiqal in the retention be shekel jedri. Why? Because of poor bonding strength afforded by the exposed dentin. Tooth preparation Rahit Kawanmin the preparation for the axial part axial reduction and guide planes on the proximal surface مع slight extension on the facial surface حتى أحصل على facial lingual lock here our preparation should compass على الأقل رح ينطيني 180 درجة على tooth structure حتى شي صر عندي حتى أزيد the resistance of the retainer here, the retention will be depend on the bonding of the metal to the tooth structure. So, my preparation should extend as far as possible. أكثر شيء ممكن أني أخذ من التوث ستركتشر حتى أحصل على الماكسيمم بوندينج. Our finishing line here will be very slight chamfer and should be 
1 ملم سوبرا جنجايفل as we said before مثل ما قلنا قبل هذا النوع it should be سوبرا جنجايفل we need here occlusal clearance yes our occlusal clearance should be 0.5 بالمكسلري incisors and as we as you know the thickness of the enamel over the, uh, the lingual surface of the tooth structure differ from uh, the cemento enamel junction toward the incisal and here we have three types of uh, teeth uh, giving the thickness of the enamel from the cemento enamel junction to the occlusal surface and these هذه كلها مطلوبة okay بعد شنو راح نحتاج بالبريبريشن راح نحتاج الى vertical stops اوكي هاي vertical stops بالمكسلري تيث ايش راح نسوي راح نسوي 2 or 3 flat counter sink باللينجوال سيرفيس بالكينين راح نسوي سينجلم ريست بالبوستيرير تيث بمولرز اند بريمولرز وي ويل دو ان اوكلوزر ريست سيت these contributing to both resistance and rigidity the resistance features are the ten here to grooves let us see the preparation sequence first of all قبل ما ابدي بكل شيء يعني راح اخش اسوي راح اجيب articulating paper ask the patient to bite on it in centric occlusion Okay, the uh, centric occlusal uh, contact will be marked. So, to ensure adequate occlusal clearance of this area, راح نستخدم راح نستخدم wheel diamond. نرفع about 0.5 mm of the tooth structure. This step is very necessary when the maxillary anterior teeth. After that. Wheel diamond bear is used to create concave reduction. Yani you follow the shape of what? Of the tooth. Rahan sawihe on the entire singlum and fossa, producing 0.5 millimeter of lingual clearance. Fahad ma chayikna bil khutwa al ula, inu ahna shilna al contact area, bil that, fahad yan rahan shil al surface kulla. ونسوي لينجوال كليرنس هذا كل البريبريشن شود بي اواي فروم ذا انسايزل ايدج اباوت 1.5 تو 2 مليم از وي ساي بيكوز وي ويل نوت يوز ذا انتاير باليتال اور لينجوال سيرفيس راح ناخذ 0.5 مليم فروم ذا جنجيفا سوري 1 مليم فروم ذا جنجيفا اند 1.5 تو 2 مليم away from the incisal edge after that we will make these counter sinks on the lingual surface that we say it by using what by using a flat and tapered diamond bear these notches or counter sinks on the lingual surface we do that to provide resistance to gingival displacement يمنعني يمنع لي هذه الوينجز انه تنزل باتجاه الجنجفة اوكي راح نبدي هسه نسوي preparation المن لل proximal surface اللي هو proximal reduction لل surface اللي راح يكون قريب من ال edentulous space راح نستخدم ويا ال taper diamond bear producing small plane اول مرة راح نشتغل نسوي plane that extend slightly facial to the facial proximal line angle شنو الفائدة من عنده to produce facial wrap around to enhance retention this is first second we will do a second plane lingual to the first with the same diamond bear after that we will go back to the palatal light upright Lingual axial reduction is done from the biplanar proximal axial reduction اللي احنا سوينا around the singulum إلى نقطة تكون short 
to the proximal contact of the opposing side of the cingulum uh, from the edentulous space. تمام؟ بعد ذلك إيش راح نسوي؟ Short groove is placed at the facial most extension of the reduction on the opposing side of the cingulum with short needle diamond bear. Finally, by using the same diamond bear, we used to place a groove in the venicity of the wraparound or break between facial and lingual planes of a proximal axial reduction adjacent to the edentulous space يعني نسوي another groove بالمكان بالضبط بين المنو between facial and lingual planes مع the proximal surface اللي سويناهم بالمرة الأولى بجهة the proximal area اللي هي رح تواجه the edentulous area